Hello, everyone. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, 2023 at 8.53 a.m. in the morning. So without me publicizing um, the outside of this place or any clues, like I'm just like I'm either laying in a bed, but now I'm sitting at the desk. So, excuse me, the fake Darnell Williams perp found an, he he had an illegal way to find, I don't know if he's hacking my phone or if they see everything that I'm doing, but they be trying to guess or be trying to hunt or look. And he fraudulently and illegally found out the precise hotel that I'm staying at. Something needs to be done. Something needs to be done with him. So, as as I said, I tried to not give any, well, tried as, as best as I could to avoid any hints or clues. And he's been harassing the shit out of me ever since, like, as I said, he was harassing me. And then he left me alone for over a month. Then October 13th, he'd been harassing me even worse in hopes that he think that if he strips everything from me, that can back me into a corner and get me to sell out. I'm not doing it. So my sleep wasn't all that great last night. Yeah, I wonder what is the way that we can track these anonymous coward perps down? And get them prosecuted. But they're trying to falsely um, say that you're committing this crime or breaking this law or that law. And um, I heard that through the remote neural monitoring that the gang stalkers can see through our eyes and everything. Or they know exactly what's on our mind and everything. So he delusionally believes he's my handler and he's not. And he's very satanic. I'm praying very hard, wishing for a way to find out who this guy is, what his real face is, what his real identity is, who he is. Because I heard that this is how people can get, this is how people get killed. And and I'm sitting here documenting and exposing everything these online and in-person perps do. And everybody keep ignoring me or they yell at me and get frustrated with me and tell me ignore. But he will publicize my location on purpose in hopes that he can try to set me up to get hurt or killed. And other other online perps do the same thing. So I didn't really get to sleep that well last night. And, um... And he he is partially responsible for partially responsible for how and why I um lost my apartment as well recent last month recently I mean earlier this month why I lost my apartment so I'm documenting and, and letting you know letting I mean I'm documenting everything so in the so called Ti community. Um, they got too many narcs, too many narcissists, too, and too many fakes in the TI community. I've had already at least three bad experiences with trying to live with somebody. Well, if somebody sent for me to come live with them and they claim to be Christian and TI, don't ask me to come, don't offer to come, don't offer me to come live with y'all. Don't try to get my phone number. Because when you turn on me and betray me, one of the first things y'all do is give my phone number to the perps. I'm not letting my I'm not letting my guard down. Um, because they had this narcissistic control freak fake TI perp over the weekend. She she showed me that she she showed me that she's a perp. And and you know, so and I'm tired of 
people trying to treat me like a child and try to police how they want me to deal with my targeting. You know, I'm 40 years old. I'm not, I'm not 10. I'm not four. And treat me very elementary like a baby. Don't tell me go to any shelters because shelters kick, bully, mob, and kick you out of there too. So, as I said, the fake Darnell Williams perp, he falsely reported, um, three days in a row, he falsely reported my video, you know, the online perps publicized my TikTok. And he, he's been attacking and falsely reporting my TikTok in, on purpose in hopes to get my account taken down and been harassing me on here. So they stalk everything I do. And it seems like it's no, no matter if I try to go hide somewhere, or go move to a, a different platform, they always fraudulently and illegally, they always find me. They delusionally believe that they're my pimps. So you're sexually perverted, a sexually perverted criminal. And everything you do or say is like very disturbing. I'm sitting here crying out for help. So, I mean, can we get something to be done with the, with these um satanic sex trafficking perps? I mean, as I said, he nearly succeeded at getting my account wrongfully, my TikTok wrongfully deleted yesterday. Or was it Monday? No, I think it was yesterday. And, and they kept on rejecting my TikTok kept rejecting my appeals. So I'm going to tell y'all a couple of experiences. Um, they had this lady named Lisa Ruby sent for me to come by her all the way, break my lease from Los Angeles and, and come all the way to um, Greenville, South Carolina, pretended to be a, tar a Christian targeted individual and try to do this fake deliverance ministry on me or whatever pretending that she's casting out demons and she left me homeless on the streets in an unfamiliar city and state for nine days. This, um, I never experienced that before. So, and then eventually I got my section eight in South Carolina. And after a year, I got out of there as soon as possible. And, and she was exploitative, manipulative, controlling, gaslighting. She was a damn perp. This lady named Tanya that was living in Gulf Breeze falsely claimed to be a targeted individual, Tanya White or whatever. I met her from YouTube and she pretended to be Christian. <clears throat> Excuse me. She held me hostage and locked me up in her RV in, Gu in Gulf Breeze, part of Pensacola, Florida. She, she was also very narcissistic. This person named Trisha Jerome last year sent for me to come um, to um, Harvey, you know, on the West Bank here in New Orleans. And she was perping me from the, from the moment I, she got me in her car and her car was red. She pretended to be targeted Christian and a victim of narcissistic abuse. And instead, she turned out to be a Haitian voodoo witch and a perp and throwing up satanic hand signs and she was trying to set me up to, to be sacrificed. And I think Lisa Ruby was trying to set me up for a sacrifice as well. So I don't care how real, and then I had that phone experience over the weekend. I don't care how real of a so-called targeted individual you are. I've had so many so-called targets betray me, stab me in the back, start to act like perps. Don't take, don't, don't try to get my phone number. Don't try to get my phone number. Don't ask me to come live with you. And don't be trying to suggest for me to go to a shelter where I'll be just about just about as ganged up on, bullied, and kicked out. And they won't even let me have a freaking um, job opportunity. They won't let me make my own living. I'm freaking stuck. I'm freaking stuck. This is horrible. <laughs>